So for our final project, uh, we decided to do a audio composer and conducting suite. Uh, essentially, we have three main parts to it. The composing phase, in which we import music. The synthesis phase, in which we uh, take the notation and convert it to uh, notes that we can hear. And the conducting phase, in which uh, the user will move their hands in a conducting fashion in real time and have the audio uh, output mimic whatever they are doing. Uh, so as you can see here, this is our setup. We have our camera right here pointed at the user, and the screen shows uh, a grid setup that the user can utilize in order to uh, keep their conducting uh, in an orderly fashion. And over here we have two FPGAs set up. This one right here uh, imports the music notation and does the synthesis. This one here uh, does uh, the hand interpretations. So. Uh, you can set the, for the project we decided to do uh, red, green, and blue filtering. Uh, we could have easily done um, YCRCB filtering as well. For simplicity, we just kept it to uh, a simple red and blue glove interface. So these switches right here allow the user to manually set the threshold for the red and the blue side. Okay. So we can work in any lighting condition. And uh, so if you can see here, uh, if I move back far enough, you can see that the two gloves are easily seen. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously you can set uh, how well these are picked up with the, uh, the different thresholds. So if I move my hands, give me a second to set up here. All right. So if you look at the board right now, you see that uh, nothing is lit. So right now we're in a wait stage and we're waiting for the conductor to start. Let me set it, sorry. So we start here. And I'm just going to move my hands in a conducting fashion. So if you look at the uh, the board on the right, you can see that the LEDs are uh, changing in response to which beat I'm at at the moment. And I'm just going to end it. So. Uh, there's different functionalities that the user can do uh, with conducting. Uh, so you just saw that the beats uh, were progressing based off what the uh, user was doing. We also implemented four volume changes. So in fact, uh, you can have up to four tracks playing simultaneously and individual volume control for each one. Uh, typically when you're uh, conducting an orchestra, at least from our experience, uh, individual volume adjustments are, raised, uh, are to raise the level. Uh, in addition to individual volume control, we also have uh, overall volume control, so you can raise and lower the volume simultaneously for all instruments. And we also implemented ending functionality. So if the user is in the middle of conducting, which I will demonstrate right now. Can I ask you to be a little bit quiet? So I'm just going to end in the middle. So basically that uh, allows the user to um, end in the middle of the piece. So do the wipe command? Sure. Very cool. And then, uh, and then uh, to mimic the ending of a piece. Uh, the, those are the uh, the four functionalities that uh, the user can do. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So the the uh, so just put the put the okay. So we, you're, I wanted to get a picture of the bounding boxes tracking them and move them slightly back and forth. Yeah. So I see the bounding boxes are, are tracking the tracking the uh, blue and yeah red quite um, well. I. Decided to wear a blue shirt for some reason, so unfortunately the threshold link is not working as well. Um, but the red is working great, and um, yeah, it's pretty convincing though. Yeah, uh, it worked pretty well. Um, we can easily switch to a uh, YCRCB implementation, and then we wouldn't have to wear gloves. Uh, we can just use our hands um, mm -hmm. because once we get rid of the intensity factor, um, the different skin tones are based on the amount of melanin that's present. So. 
once we get rid of the intensity factor, then the CRCV values that we would be dealing with is a very small range. Okay, so you, so. Could, you could do that, but this yeah. was certainly a good shortcut. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so. thank you.